Hey, welcome to my new workshop. Welcome to my new workshop. We turned one of our garages into this awesome little paradise for crafting. I have lasers, lots of lasers. There's one and there's another one. Ah, I also have the Rakoma set up in here. So I wanted to give you a little walkthrough, even though I haven't really gone through like my new sewing room since we moved to North Carolina, I thought this would be kind of cool because it's a garage and a lot of people have garages. So let's uh, dive right into the things that we did. I totally just backed into this and hit my head so hard, but hey, that's okay because it's uh, like uh, insulated and stuff. So first thing we did was we got a contractor out here to basically help us make the garage not a living space. We didn't want to close off the garage because I've bought and sold a lot of houses and I know that's like a number one thing that is gonna make a sale bad. So we wanted to do the minimal amount of work just to like bring up the lighting and insulate the door a bit so that we could do things um, in here all, all year round instead of me sitting on concrete flooring huddling in a couple of blankets with a hot coffee with the laser at two in the morning. <laughs> so we got um, interface, uh, not interfacing, oh my goodness, um, uh, these uh, nice foam panels installed on the door. And that helps a lot with the ceiling and to, to basically buffer things. There's other stuff that we can do on our own to kind of seal off the windows and make those um, a, a less drafty as well um, as going around and putting our own like um, ceiling in there. So like we can just go around and put like, you know, rubber tubing in and stuff like that later. But um, specifically this stuff, we didn't have the tools at the time to install this. So, um, so of course, like step one was basically making sure that the giant gaping door to the room, to the garage was going to be insulated enough that we wouldn't have to worry if we need to run portable heat or AC in here during the various, uh, peaks and valleys of weather during the year. Um, since I'm someone who very much cares about you know, the, the quality of my lighting, um, especially with like recording. Uh, we had these LCD lights installed throughout. There's just two on the side uh, here with the, the pew, 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 pew lasers. These are the ones that really put off. These are my CO2s. So I have my GUI Cloud uh, Pro 2 here still uh, a little in, in a little bit of disarray. Just ignore that. Um, and then here is Valkyrie, that's the nickname for the thunder. Um, but we put these lights in here as well as additional outlets. Um, so we have a you know, standard outlet here, but then over here we have a, dedica a dedicated, um, uh, uh, what is it, 20, 20 volt, I guess? Uh, because the thunder, uh, the, the, big, the big boy laser here, um, actually requires quite a bit of different power um, and everything is on its own dedicated breaker. So we don't even have to really worry about that. Um, up until this point, the only outlet was right over there, which as you can imagine is kind of useless when you have so much machinery to run. Um, so yeah, so then just one over here uh, it is actually very bright and it, it's fine for what we need to do, uh, you know, for being able to see what we're doing in here, um, but also being able to be lit appropriately for live streaming and videos. Yeah, so before I had this kind of lighting, we were just kind of working off whatever was coming through here. Um, and that wasn't the best. It really wasn't, especially when I tried to stream some of the laser stuff at night, you know, on Twitch. Uh, because I try not to, I, I don't stream during the day unless it's a weekend and I feel like streaming on a weekend. Um, that's not often, um, but it happens from time to time. So the lighting is actually really good though. Um, highly recommend. They also put daylight, fresh daylight bulbs up in the top one light at the very top of the room. So from there, uh, they also installed these duct holes to go out. Um, so they just look like dryer vent hoods on the other side of the house. This goes directly to the side of the house. They're hidden behind a bush. 
so HOA doesn't have to yell at us, which is a bonus. Um, this other one here is going to be for the portable AC unit, or if I need to run both of the lasers at the same time, um, then I will do that. So, uh, but right now only the thunder is basically hooked up and it's great. You know, you still smell fumes and all of that. You can't help it. Um, but all in all, uh, it actually really helps to get the noise down too. Cool. So talking about organization, I'm a huge person when it comes to organization. I absolutely hate clutter. This entire table was basically covered with spray, uh, spray paint, cans and brushes, sandpaper, scrap wood, all of that. Um, so if you recognize these bookcases, these are the ones that I bought from Amazon <laughs> specifically for the craft fair setup. But since I've broken my hip and gonna be going through total hip replacement surgery, I figured I'm not gonna be doing shows for a few months. So I might as well put these to use. Whee! So that I'm basically using these um, to get all my stuff off of the table and kind of building up so I have all this table space available for working. I mean, it's not the most organized thing in the world, but uh, you can see that I just put all the things in here so they're at a, you know, easy grasp. So here's all of my paints and stains and then just some basic tools that I need access to pretty much all of the time when I'm working in here. Um, and then I have an area here where I can lay out projects. And one thing I do want to know about this table is this is more for like the laser cutting and painting and gluing kind of stuff. I'm not going to be doing anything with embroidery fabrics or blanks over here. In fact, we've got one more table to put together and that's going to be like this little portable cart for embroidery hooping and everything to make sure that that stays clean and that we don't get any paint or dirt or anything on products that I'm going to be embroidering. So all of my blanks for embroidery are gonna be stored right inside the house. Um, there's stairs that lead up and I'm putting all of those in a closet that's in the hallway that's barely being used right now. You know, it, it happens to the best of us, I guess. Um, so, but that cart is gonna be what's used for uh, hooping. Moving right along right here, this is going to be the diode station. So this is another laser that's been provided to me. I will talk about that in a completely different video. Um, but we bought another Husky cabinet so that we could store other things in it specifically for the diode lasers. Um, so this will be my second diode laser and we only have one out at a time. Um, and then we have these somewhat cheapish, uh, I guess, bookcases <laughs> from Home Depot. They're specifically for garage stuff. This is where I'm storing all of the laser engravables and wood, acrylic, etc. kind of materials. There's the giant, this is my giant rotary for the thunder right here. Um, and, uh, and here are all of my, all the tumblers that I have uh, in stock. If anybody ever wants a tumbler, please let me know because I have a lot of them as well as glasses and acrylic and all kinds of stuff. Um, so I store it here. Um, I do store the wood flat because the wood can warp even though we've basically weatherproofed the garage to an extent you're still gonna see some humidity and elements kind of uh, expose the room. So like right now I have no AC. <sighs> and I'm dying a little bit on the inside. Oh boy, it's gonna get hot in here. Next in the back corner, I saved the best for last. This is the Recoma MT1501 um, that I just received from Recoma. And I cannot wait to dive in with you guys and go over a lot of the features. Um, I actually have a video planned to post while I'm out for surgery that is going to cover like my initial thoughts coming from another multi-needle machine so that you understand like how I'm kind of thinking uh, through it. Um, big thing, some of the things I got to help organize, these are magnetic hooks and I just stuck that on there so I can easily access uh, my scissors and my snips. Uh, mind you, this has not been shaking a lot when I've been running it, so I haven't had any issues with it, like shaking about. Um, but when you put the, there's the extension table here to help support larger items if you're going to be embroidering things that are, you know, hefty. Um, 
they may block your access to these. So this is not like a foolproof solution, but it was just like, I just kind of stuck them there for now and I'll reassess it as needed. Um, I got this rolling uh, wire uh, bookcase from Amazon uh, along with the plastic in there for the, for, to like cover the shelves because I got this thing and then I realized really quickly that it was gonna be super annoying with all my stuff kind of falling through. <laughs> so I got the little plastic covers and uh, this is gonna hold all of my hoops and my embroidery supplies, but not blanks. These are hats that were already done um, that I was, so this one they gave me, that's how they test the machine. And then this one I did on my, on my own to kind of test things. Um, I got these little removable hooks here. So here's these little uh, S hooks to hang on the side so I can hang all of my bigger hoops there. Uh, I don't even have all of my hoops down here. I actually have Mighty Hoops as well. So those will be coming soon. And then um, we have those uh, Rubbermaid Fast Tracks and my husband 3D printed some hooks clearly for his backpacks, but also the largest hoop because I, it's huge and I didn't know where else to put it. <laughs> So here's a wide angle view from the back. This room is basically the exact same size as my office. Um, my office is actually located right up there through the ceiling. So um, that, you know, it, it's kind of neat. Um, hence the teleport joke last time, uh, you know, to, to have something like this right below. Um, and my husband says it's my garage, but really it's our garage, no matter how many times he likes to fuss about it. Um, and of course, oh yeah, this is the little laptop station. So whenever I record down here, it's via the laptop because there's no way I'm dragging anything else down here. Um, so it's clean for now. <laughs> I give it maybe a week of good use before I'm sitting here wondering what else I need to add to the room to help organize things. But in general, building up using bookshelves, um, you know, using the walls, I, I would like to get some pegboard in here. I think that would help, especially, you know, behind the diode laser at some point to hang up tools and things. Um, but for now, this is great. This is this is pretty much all that we need to make this room um, usable. And the cool thing is at some point, one day, God forbid, over my dead body, if we sell this house, this garage is still a usable garage. So once we pull everything out of here, um, it's not, it's not been modified to the point where it's considered a closed off space that's driven with, you know, the HVAC system and everything. Um, that was a big requirement. Like, it's very easy to say, yeah, I'm going to close off the, the garage doors. Like, woo, we don't need that. What do we need that for? We're not parking in here. Except when you're like, oh yeah, I want to go sell it. And then people get mad that you say it's got a three car, you know, it's three car, uh, garage spaces and uh, no, it's because there's a two car garage on the other side. We can't use, that's got the 3D resin printer and it's stinky. So yeah, thanks uh, for, uh, you know, paying attention to my little tour here of the uh, garage. <laughs> um, yeah, feel free to leave some questions below or suggestions, especially if your product suggestions. Any of the products that I used in here um, that are accessible to you all, um, I'll put in, in the description so you have access to those. And uh, yeah, I look forward to showing you more projects from the garage. Be on the lookout.